Hello to everyone who stopped by at my channel today. If you are first time on this channel, hello, my name is Natalia and you are watching channel Love Cross Forever. Also, I have many others channel which you can find them on my homepage um, uh, under playlist, uh, all of them tag on a, on a page on YouTube. And uh, today we have a video a review from Art Create Love. It is paint by number company who have only uh, paint by numbers accessories. Uh, gorgeous canvases. I already finished one, and uh, the other uh, canvas I already started to paint. And seems like you really like tutorial, and you would love to see more. So I thank you for that and of course we will see more tutorials to come now in here if you remember my last uh, video unboxing i did have one package arrived but another one was on the way so this is the part number two that's supposed to be uh, package arrived a little bit uh, later and we did have one canvas that left from first package that we will see it today so that was from last packaging. In this packaging we have one canvas. Uh, looks like another canvas, something flat in the envelope. I forgot what I ordered. Uh, we have some tools and accessories. So I think we will start today, uh, let's say, with this tools first. And some, some accessories that we have in here. Our first product will be, it's the glaze. Let's see, I don't think there's going to be any description in here on a bottle. A container, do we have anything in English? Uh, yeah, a little bit. It says acrylic medium glass gel. So when you create paint by number and you decide to have a glazy finish, you can definitely can put this on the top of your painting and your painting will look shiny. To me, um, well, this is for acrylic because uh, to me that paint by number we do with you, it's the oil painting and they are already shiny. So I don't think we need this this kind of uh, designs that we review with you from Arcade Love but if you create something with acrylic acrylic dry really matte right so this definitely will do to create a shine for you okay we can actually see on the inside it looks like it looks like yogurt nice and milky color that is still liquidy and we will test it out sometime on acrylic because I was going to test this on my paint by number but now when I read this bottle it is as acrylic medium so we don't need for the oil painting because oil already shiny but of course you can test it out and do on the top of oil paint and maybe this will create even better glaze uh, also it should dry clear absolutely clear and shiny and you can see this on the website I will link it up for you to the website where you can find this product and read proper descriptions and everything and there is a picture up there that show you glazy versus not glazy part of painting and it looks really good looks nice and shiny next one in here something that I did not use before so we will try to figure out together with you what in here looks like a whole bunch of different stuff in here Okay, so first of all, it's a nice plastic container with two locks. And what do we have in here? 
of course as I was afraid of there is no writing on it and there is a word about that I cannot remember right now so what I will do without stopping video I will put screenshot for you to see okay what do we have in here we have some fabric we have okay first of all we have in here big foam nice it's almost like mr clean you know uh, oh we have some see how it's cut kind of blocks on one side just on one side that's how it stays and then just uh, and then this is the fabric it's kind of like to, for the painting for your brushes it's actually nice and stick in here and now what this is there's my friends there is nothing in English in here it's only English word it's palette that's it and the pictures and here is the pictures so again I will put I will put screenshot for you. So this is pieces of paper. Looks to me like could be. It looks like parchment paper, the one that we can use for diamond painting. It looks exactly like it to fit in here on this. Okay, uh, I will add screenshot so we can have proper name because this liquid I cannot remember. Well, obviously, it's a difficult word for me to remember because uh, for the English speaking people, some words can be tricky, and if you never work with them. Uh, that it's going to be difficult to understand. What I understand when I order this, this is something that I can uh, wipe my clean my brush or even mix some. I want to see if this, what kind of odor this have. Hmm. Very low odor that right now there's some kind of spirit in here that I don't really it's not very strong so it doesn't bother me almost looks like a water liquid so I will link it up for you to the website of course so you can see and read what this is about and also have to use properly what I saw in the picture it's the, this fabric kind of on the top and then a whole bunch of um, paint uh, smudges on it. So I understood that this is to clean brushes. I could be wrong, but I think it, like, you know, you moisturize your brush before you paint in or um, to activate to your paint, something like that. So if I'm wrong, my apology because I never use this but I will link it up and I put screen sheet of the product what it is right now all right next our product we are going to paint like a pro like a pro I like that this have um, it has some stickers stuck to my finger. It has case, so you can take it on the go. Hopefully, I didn't mix this case with my tripod case and take something different while I'm go to my camping because my tripod go to this kind of case. So this is easel to paint numbers so let's get further away and see how this look like 
is it easy to assemble what involved in here right. I see a little piece in here came out and okay now it's empty just want to make sure so it is in a nice bag with the handle to go with zipper just a halfway enough room to pull out your easel and here is the tripod itself looks like heavy duty and here is the interesting wiggle legs for the leveling no matter like depends what kind of um, a high or angle you want and this is going to be kind of difficult to show you in this little space in here but I will try and later on the end I will take a picture or screenshot how this work so we have three legs with adjustable level and this part in here okay we have leg in here to put this part hold on let me lock so we have in here first of all let's discover in here we have one extension and it's coming out how far oh whoa that is going to be freestanding on the floor i think and then you have second extension in here also very long so you definitely could stand and paint so this should be very very comfortable i never owned easel before so definitely something i can use and in here, as I understand, you put this part, okay, it's just a, okay, 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 this is supposed to go inside, where does the leg go, is it opening something more, where does those legs go, it's supposed to be, hold on my friends, I have to, I have to figure out, you know, I have to figure out. So if I open, I hope I'm doing right, unless it's go like this, but then no, this is definitely supposed to go on the top, I think. Let me look um the website because there's no picture no nothing uh, i would think that this part go in here right right in here to stand but this legs looks like oh there's the part part hold on that part that was missing where does that go oh inside in here i guess looks like looks to me like a broken part Looks like this part is kind of broken, but it should be go inside, which is gonna come out a little bit. And this part a little bit bended away. You can see that this is not straight. So I will have to force it to put back. Okay, it's just, uh, you know, from shipping. From shipping, so now, this should go here and those legs should go behind now this other part because if legs go all the way to the floor right and the easel itself should go up front of it all right, I figure out because um, one of this part that in here, this moving part with the screws in here was moved all the way to the top and I thought it's missing something wrong. Like 
what is going on, why I can connect this. So there's a two screws in here on each side of the front leg, if I can show you this way. This part is moving, so you can level your canvas as far as you can. Okay, and okay, let's put those screws on the bottom in here first. This tray has many different settings. It depends how far your easel you will open, so the uh, stands will be um, go wider as well. So we put on this screws in here. Let's just put this way your easel tray where your canvas will stay, right? And you can move up and down. And of course, this this part has um, stickers in here like velcro they will go wrap around if we put this kind of in here hold on let me do it here you can wrap around this legs i hope you can see what i'm doing in here there's a one velcro in here and a little bit further further up there that you can connect and hold um, this so it doesn't slip down now the device in here of course you know how easel work I don't have to probably tell you but uh, every easel could be different so let me take this down now so we have a little bit more work in here on the top you can also stretch as far as you want you can lift this up up or down and this device is your locking device so it will lock and not move anymore okay and also I see here another device what what this does uh, to be honest I don't know what this for to connect the top of the easel. Is this something work on here? I don't see any difference in here, but uh, also I will put for you a description. Actually, I will link it up to you, then you will see how this work. And by the way, next time when I will work on my paint by numbers, I may we like a set up nicely so we can try this tripod or I call it tripod it's easel for paint by number for any art you creating so we will test it out and see if it's comfortable to work or not because so far I like to work with the painting or canvas like a flat on my table so I'm not sure if I will like to work uh, an easel so I wasn't sure um, if I should review this or not but maybe some of you will be interested to see so let me put a little bit camera now a little bit down and we will continue to see what else I have in here it's a little bit confusing product on the beginning of this video sorry about that and this thing is really sticky. Um, I don't know why it's folded and not rolled like the others. The glue is everywhere. I'm going to have a very messy, very messy. Hold on, maybe I can. Ooh. Okay, I will have to cut this back somehow. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. I will have to kind of get rid of this all at once. This glue, oh, I, this goofy glue keeps sticking to my nails. Okay, here it is. That's it. Now it's empty. This, this is really sticky, so I will have to throw this away right away because it doesn't work for me sticky like this I will put this nicely in some different uh, envelope so here what we have uh, on this picture it looks like iris or iris 
um, different people pronounce differently. I thought this is really, really pretty colors for the painting. Nice and light background in here, darker for the bottom, but the colors of the flower petals are so beautiful in here. And you can see here is the size 40 by 50 centimeters. And let's see what kind of... Seriously, the goo now stuck to my nail. Uh, here it is. Oh, nice, nice, nice colors. Looks like this pink a little bit. Hopefully it's not open. No. Uh, the basically same tools as every other kit. I don't think we see anything different. Uh, there's always three size of brushes, usually they're all the same. And of course hinges if you put this canvas on a hard canvas frame. And the colors in here are gorgeous. Let's look this way upside down so we can see all the colors actually you know what lots of reflection of my chandelier so i'm going to pull it out like this and we can see better that way all right here it is isn't it gorgeous so we have oh that's a four extra so we have four three three of them number four probably for the background and we have 24 colors 24 colors very beautiful pinks and purples and now the main ingredient it's the canvas itself very wrinkle i don't understand why they fold it like this and not to roll a on a canvas like all the other ones this one also treated light uh, lines in here kind of like a not very black but like a, in a grayish color all in one color not like some of the canvases we already review with you were colorful also we have inventory sheet just for in case you have to refer to some number uh, some number in here not exactly good visibility you can check on a paper to find the number that you're looking for and let me show you uh, yes the, the numbers in here is really really light colors and maybe in some area very small number will be hard to see for example for example, what do we have in here? Even right now I'm looking on the camera. Well, that's because I'm looking upside down. Kind of hard to see. You know, some number. Like what's up there? Like right now I do not see what kind of number right in here. So yes, the some print in here a little bit wrapped off. And very very light so company need to be careful about this and maybe uh, create more sharp ink for the print because we review already with you many canvases and some of them printed are in such a beautiful and sharp and you can see every single color and I don't like the idea of folding uh, because it's you know you have to iron I try to iron my canvas uh, the one that I started to work on the big one um, not exactly everything went flat but I was using my this little mini iron maybe I should get the heavy duty but I did not want it to shrink or damage my canvas so I just went a little slightly uh, I still uh, prefer canvases to have rolled up if they are like extremely big that yeah maybe there's no chance but uh, to fold it but in here I would say this is not very big canvas it could go like this one into the packet like that and yes the company need to be careful about uh, print not very visible numbers so this canvas will be a little bit more difficult to do 
uh, with the help of magnifier and actually I'm really happy that they have this paper with the symbols so we will find out of those colors much easier by looking on the paper because the paper in here numbers are nice and sharp as you can see so if some area you cannot uh, find the number like cannot recognize just go to the piece of paper and look one more time to the area where you're working uh, now let's see canvas number two Canvas number two, okay, here. Let's see. See, this one is folded on a roll, not folded, a roll on a foam, but the edge is still, still kind of bended because the roll not long enough, but this is not very big problem because this is only edges uh, canvas itself actually looks good and they tied up with the uh, masking tape let's open let's open and see what kind of picture because the picture is hiding on the inside all we see this beautiful how many 22 23 23 colors in here and colors is super super bright very pretty here it is what do you think this could be what this could be okay so see this is like the full different world you see print and numbers in here you can see them from miles they are big and sharp and colorful canvas i think you can see that there's some blue and pinkish and yellow i love to work on this canvas because it's easy to do and we already started canvas with you to work on uh, like this oh this is uh, such a lots of confetti but they are very easy would be to do because it doesn't have like a long tiny lines basically almost like a squares or like a buttons um aha uh -huh. aha uh -huh. the picture okay maybe we missed it uh mm -hmm. here is what i have can you see the picture <laughs> i don't think so Oh no, it doesn't have a picture. What's usually colorful picture should be. It's a nice, much uh, thicker foam. Uh, the other one can be like a halfway thickness. This one, okay. So I, I like this thicker one better because they support more canvas. You can roll nicer. But no colorful picture of the image. Let me pick a bow on a bed, maybe. Oh, is this a... Hold on. I think I found it. <laughs> I think I found it. They just stuck in a bag. Hold on. Because this is very pretty. Um, the print, not exactly. Okay. No, actually, my camera looks good. It's the lavender field. Look, look, the lots and lots of colors. So, yeah. Um, I was scared to order this because I knew it would involve lots of confettis but by looking on this canvas look at that that is gorgeous isn't it lavender can you imagine the smell up there oh it's like heaven that's how heaven looks like so yes it's not not very bad if you look like for example the the smallest area is like right in here so let's concentrate on that area we come and come and come and close and you see that every it's like a, a buttons um, round shape almost like round so very easy 
will be too marked up. You just put blob of paint a little bit, spread it out with the tip of the brush, done. Doesn't have lots of area with, for example, like, um, let me find, um, for example, like, with the long pieces that is you have to drag a brush and sometimes a big brush will take too much paint and you go to the other side but this one is all like a, almost like a dots 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 and make a little bit of shape so it shouldn't be easy i mean it shouldn't be um, difficult to do plus we have a big chunks in here of the sky that you just smash a paint uh, well, that is very, very colorful, very colorful and pretty. Okay, let's roll this now. And this can be more smooth. I would say if I would show you this way, the fabric and then the treated side, it's almost like a smooth, smooth surface. Um, on the other hand, this canvas that was folded, it looks to me, see like it's a little bit different in color, this one white, more on the white side, but on this side where it's treated, I would say it's a little bit more bumpy, I'm not sure, I think you can see it, it's a little bit more bumpy, so you will have to have or put some other glaze on the top or put thicker layer of the paint to cover those bumps because sometimes when paint dry a open non-painted area it kind of like a spread out sometimes paint like you know water from the goose coming out all right one more my friends one more and then yes uh, we are going to paint again because lots of you like this craft lots of you like just to watch uh, some of you unfortunately cannot do it by the um, physical um, <coughs> because it's not always easy to paint with little tiny spots and I do understand age sometimes beating us up and in here we have lots of blues here is, it's almost like a pastel palette with the few of the brighter blue, but those are nice pastel pinks and blues. And by looking on these uh, colors, I already remember what I have. So in here, same thing, same exactly, all of them, three brushes and accessories that you need for the picture. Now let me show you picture. It's uh, you probably already saw this picture, and now you see the difference. Uh, this one was rolled on a very thin foam, and that's why it gets a little bit more creases because it's easier to bend. Oh, this one also have a, like a colorful canvas. Oh, see, like in here now, lots of those long strips that ended up in like a very, very thin. So this one already like more probably will be difficult to do. Uh, the other one that I thought will be more difficult is actually much easier. In here, this canvas go like this. Uh, we don't have an inventory sheet in here, just the instruction how to do it. Every canvas almost have that. And look at this one. If we can compare okay there I found it you see the difference it's a huge difference so art create love I would definitely recommend this instead of this this is basically no support you know this one save canvas much more better and less maybe creases will be in a canvas it's just uh, it's just a more support uh, this is basically like nothing inside right uh, so we like a little bit bigger foam will su support better. So here, can you see the image? I think you already seen what is going on in here. Let me show you design itself. There. 
her dress is magical in here you can see that this is like transparent layer that you can see water through it's a very very light fabric she has a beautiful hair she's alone walking on a beach somewhere by the ocean and looking for someone maybe missing someone very very pretty image you can tell the story everybody can tell different story about this design to me she looks very lonely maybe she just have not very happy relationship and she went to the ocean to make her feel better because water and air will give you new energy to live and look forward to the better days uh, yeah there's, there's something about this image is very very pretty and this is a colorful canvas colorful canvas but her dress in here uh, confetti but on a long strips confetti you know like this so yes uh, this one much more difficult to work on but on the end it will be beautiful beautiful design all right my friends this is it for today uh, and yes hopefully I did not forget to put for you screenshots to the other product that I had trouble to explain uh, I will see you next time give me your comments and tell me if you already try paint my number some of you getting brave and will order some cheers to you I appreciate that because the more you work on the more kind of getting addictive and you like it so uh, I, I like and the more I work the more I like to continue with this art I used to love to color and paint so I'm glad to get back to it thanks to Art Create Love and other paint by number uh, companies so there you have it. Have a good day everyone and I will see you next time.